Water consumption is a widely debated subject by researchers all over the globe. Water is essential for life, and being adequately hydrated has countless physical and mental health benefits. Recently, we've been told to drink half of our body weight in ounces each day, which makes sense, as this is an individualistic approach, rather than generalizing one rule for everyone. With all this focus on how much we should drink each day, the question of how we should be drinking water has largely been lost. As you may know, water comprises around 60% of the human body and is distributed evenly among the muscles and organs. Blood helps transport water throughout the body, according to the requirements of every organ and muscle. Blood itself is composed of 83% water, whereas the muscles and tissue contain 76 and 70% respectively. Any significant fluctuations in these percentages will lead to improper functioning of the body. At least once in our lives, we have all experienced the feeling of being dehydrated. The body signals us to drink more water by inducing a sense of thirst. When we have consumed more water than the body needs to operate, it flushes out that excess water to ensure that the correct amount stays in the body. Now, imagine having a sudden urge to drink water. Hastily, you gulp down a full glass, which leads to the improper absorption of water within the body. As already mentioned, any excess water in the body is flushed out through urination, which is more likely to happen after gulping. Frequent urination will result, but is that really healthy? When you urinate, your body loses salts along with the excess water collected in the bloodstream. This filtration is carried out by the kidneys. So, when you chug down a large amount of water in one sitting, due to the lower absorption levels by the tissues and muscles, the kidneys end up registering this as excess water and will try to expel it. As your body tries to get rid of the excess water, the sodium level of the blood falls due to the absorption of salts in the expelled water. This can give rise to a condition called hyponatremia, commonly known as water intoxication. It causes exhaustion and headaches, and in extreme conditions, the excess water moves from the blood to the cells, causing them to swell. This is why people undergoing physical exertion are told to cool down a bit and take smaller sips of water rather than gulping it down. Their body is losing water through perspiration from their skin and excess evaporation through their heavy breathing. Gulping down water will ironically lead to an even greater loss of water, indirectly leading to the loss of even more salts, which causes headaches and fatigue, or water retention in the extremities. Clearly, taking smaller drinks of water is the way to go for ideal hydration. For this very reason, certain water bottles have an intentionally narrow opening, which forces you to sip rather than gulp down your water. Remember, all things in good time, even when it comes to quenching your thirst.